Axios with the big Kamala Harris border news. Harris flip-flops on building the border wall. If she's elected president, Kamala Harris pledges to spend hundreds of millions of dollars on the wall along the southern border. What? A project she once opposed and called un-American during the Trump administration. Well, let's see exactly what she said before. We don't need to build a wall. This is a crisis of his own making. The president of the United States has a vanity project that he doesn't want to give up. It's the president's vanity project. Mm. This issue is about a vanity project for this president. Right. The president's vanity project. Let me be very clear. I'm not going to vote for a wall under any circumstances. I am not for a wall. It will not end with a wall. It will not end with a wall. It will not end with a wall? No. All right. Would she have described the border situation as an emergency or a crisis? It is not an emergency. We are not facing a crisis. We have a president of the United States who has created a fiction about a crisis at the border and he has held up the United States government and its workers around his vanity project called a wall. The the idea that he is trying to say that we have people that are trying to invade our country to commit mass crime is a crisis of his own making. But surely a wall would have stopped transnational gangs. On the subject of transnational gangs, let's be perfectly clear. The president's medieval vanity project is not going to stop them. I specialize on transnational criminal organizations. Yeah. That's, that wall ain't going to stop them. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty hilarious, Cam. So surely she wouldn't use Trump's vanity project in her ads to run for president, would she? Fixing the border is tough. So is Kamala Harris. But, but if you take a look at that ad, and one thing that I found striking is if you look, and I think we have the, uh, the images here, there are at least three points in that ad that show the, bo- the border wall, Donald Trump's border wall. Is it now the position of the Democrats that they favor the border wall? Well, you, you can ask the Harris campaign about that ad. That's the first that I've seen it. Blah, 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 blah. That's the first that I've seen it. So what did the dream team of Biden-Harris do right after getting elected in 2020? It reveals a construction zone frozen in time. Steel border wall bollards are left in stacks and construction equipment sits on staging grounds. Just weeks before President Biden was inaugurated, the Trump administration pushed ahead to build a four-mile stretch of new border wall into the Patagonia Mountains. This is the end of the road, about 15 miles east of Nogales, Arizona. This is as far as the border wall construction got. And what you see now is this carved out path sitting next to the pristine untouched landscape. Structural tubes used to make the wall's panels being stored in Arizona were spotted for sale on an online auction marketplace called GovPlanet. Since April, they've sold 81 lots of the parts for about $2 million on the website so far. That is the border wall there. Now, let me show you this. She just panned 20 feet or so to the left, and uh, Mexico is right over there. This part of the wall has been halted. The construction will not start again because the Biden administration has chosen not to go forward with it. But don't worry. You can trust Kamala Harris because she is tough. Fixing the border is tough. So is Kamala Harris.